Let's take a look at the world map. I'm gonna open the filters and enable nav aids. Let's close this and show the legend. And according to the symbols, there are only two kinds of nav aids, VORs and NDBs. Those with a DME and those without. In case you're wondering what a DME is, basically if you tune in a VOR with a DME, for example like this one, and you're somewhere here, um, if you have the according instrument, you can read out the distance between you and the nav aid, the VOR. All right. Now, um, if you click on a nav aid here, let's click on this NDB, it will tell you the frequency. Or if you click on a VOR, it will tell you the frequency. Now, unfortunately, um, you can't open the world map during flight, which is a bit of a pity. I hope um, they will consider to implement this because it would be extremely helpful to get those information. Now, what about the ILS frequency? If you have a look here, it looks like a VOR, but um, if you click on it, it's actually an ILS device. And you can tell that by the type. It says localizer DME. Um, so the ILS devices use the same symbology, just that usually they will start with the letter I, like ILS. Just click on it and it will tell you the frequency. If you want to approach um, this airport from this direction, um, then you use the ILS device behind or at the end of the runway, okay? So this device, this ILS device is the ILS for this runway. So for runway 03 being the runway with an approximate heading of 30 degrees, just at a zero. Now, another pity is that um, it will not tell you the ILS course. It would be extremely helpful if you could just click on it and um, it would tell you not only the frequency but also the ILS course. Okay, um, and then of course if you could open the map during flight to get all those information um, without having to use charts and stuff like that. If you are flying a plane with the G1000, then you don't even need to know the ILS course because as soon as you tune in the frequency and make it the active frequency in the G1000, it will automatically pick the right ILS course. You can't even change the ILS course in the G1000 in Microsoft's new flight simulator. I hope this helps you. Thanks for watching and goodbye.